Welcome back to Levels of Translation channel. In the beginning of the semester, I asked my students, Can you live without your cell phones? I only heard a little yes and a big no. I replied, me either. I can't translate professionally today without the internet. It's not Google Translate that I use all the time. Nonetheless, Google Translate offers more accurate translation than it used to do years ago. It's getting better day in and day out. But translation requires a lot of research. And the internet contains tons of data. It's actually a treasure trove of knowledge. In the past, I had to spend hours and days in consulting paper dictionaries, encyclopedias, books and references. But now, everything is possible with a click on the internet. Let's have a look at some websites that you can visit while translating. To begin with, machine translation is the easiest and quickest to use. You can simply use Google Translate, but don't forget to compare the output to another machine translation system. You could find more polished translation for some bits and pieces of the text. For instance, you can use Microsoft Word where you can could find similar, worse or better translation. You just need to be a critical thinker. Next, I use parallel corpora like Reverso, Glosp, Trex, Almaani to search databases of human translation where you can have a look at contextual examples next to their translations. Again, I should mention that the suggested translation couldn't be confidential in terms of accuracy and quality because we have no idea about the translator's competence and their choices in general. However, with a critical approach, the content could be improved and utilized for translation practice and language learning as well. Another useful online tool that I use frequently is WordNet. WordNet is a database where you can find sets of the different senses of words with their semantic relations like synonyms, hyponymy, meronymy, etc. On this website, you can find reliable translation and definition of terms as well. On WordNet, you can search for more accurate relations between words meaning. Unlike dictionaries, you can try the WordNet created at Berzet University. It's very useful. It's ontology.berzet.edu. Let's have a look at a very simple example. You can easily translate the word book, but the word can have different meanings in different contexts. For example, address book, daftar anawin, code book, dalil rumuz, phone book, dalil hatif, oil record book, sigil naft, book value, al qima daftariya, book inventory, hasil mahzun, bookkeeping solution, hal muhasabi. Thank you for watching and see you later.